He's sneaking us back. Backy, backy, backy in the housey. Okay, I've been a long term Linux user for a long, long, long time. Longer than a long thing. Longer than that, even. And so I've got quite used to it. But why would you use Linux? Why would you use Linux? Should we talk about it? Dozo! Right, the main reason you should lose, use Linux, or use Linux anyway, the best one is, it's free, okay? Nearly every distribution is free, and you get to choose which base you come from, okay? You're not just stuck to one, no, not just one thing. You get to do the choosing of what you want to do. That's one of the main things, and the support is fantastic in the forums. Not always, but mostly. Great. Number two, okay. Second reason is, if I go to my recently used favourites, you are in control of all security, downloads and uploads and everything else that you need on your system. So I'm all up to date here, hunky dory. I'm in control. Nobody's telling me when I have to do it. I'm also in control of all the programs that I want to install or take away. That's number two. Okay, another reason why you should use Linux is you get to choose what it looks like. Whether it be XFC, KDE, you can choose what your computer looks like for you. Again, you're not just stuck to one blue screen that looks a bit old fashioned now. You can have it wherever you want. Even i3, something like that. Or even Rat Poison. Oh yeah, fantastic. Now, many moons ago in the Linux world, we had severe compatibility issues with wireless, sound, graphics. But that was a long, long time ago, guys. A real long time ago. There was basically no hardware issues. Compatibility is quite fantastic, really. You'll get the odd one, but hey, can't have anything, can you? No. Another reason to choose Linux is it runs on really anything. Even the Raspberry Pis, anything like that. Banana Pies, Orange Pies. Pies are you. Pies are us. I like pies. Okay, gaming on Linux. Okay, I'm not saying it's perfect. And now it's a few games that are quite you know, impossible to play. But generally, for me especially, I don't really have much problem with gaming. Some AAA titles that won't play, but a lot of titles do play. Yes, there is a little bit of performance here at the moment, but I think at the end of the day, <clears throat> that will go, okay? And we'll be on a level playing field. So I'm not too worried about it. But bearing in mind, I've been a Linux user for a very, very long time. So I'm used to waiting, if you know what I mean. But look at this game. Basically, this is Surviving Mars. Fantastic little game. Runs perfectly. But, you know, what do you do? I can go to my little man there and I can follow him. And off we go. And he's just going to sit there and do nothing, as usual. But yeah, gaming on Linux. It's getting there. Okay. Not only do we get beautiful audio of our standard Linux box. You can also build a purpose-built Linux music audio file player for relatively cheap money. Really, really cheap. Just get yourself a Pi or a Pi Zero and a suitable deck. I've got a couple of these and I think they're fantastic. And I would advise you, if you've got some spare squids from over Christmas that Mummy and Daddy may have given you, or Danny and Granddad, or just yourself, go spend a few bob and make yourself one it's fantastic. Trust my daddy. And finally, Linux is easy. Easy to install, easy to maintain, and just so easy to use. Whatever desktop you choose, whatever you want to do, it's all easy there for you. No slowing down, no rubbish, no bloatware. No having to restart your machine 20 million times a day, or wait 10 hours for it to update. No, it's like seconds, seconds. Even with a Raspberry Pi on a full update, it's less than 20 minutes, okay? When you do an upgrade especially. Remember, that's a tiny, 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 tiny machine. It's so easy. And that's why you should do Linux. Super duper. Sneaky Linux out. I said it's by the way.